Okay, in case you wonder where all the smoke was coming from. Sure. And sure. Diane's got everything organized. She's in good, good shape unless she falls in the cooler. Hi. Hi. We don't really, there isn't much else you can do. Oh, that's right, okay. Is there? Is that what program from how many years ago? Uh, is that what? One city, 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 Okay, here comes the cooler flood. Thank you. 
Pirates Cove. There's front side. In the words of fellow Eagle Scout Chris McGrath, please have a sit. <laughs> First off, I'd like to thank our cooks this evening, Russ and Jeff McDonald, Kevin Martin, Mike Sharon, along with Mr. Van Rosendahl and Mr. McDonald. And Mrs. Chris Copeland and Mrs. Diane McDonald for preparing everything this evening and organizing everything. And finally, everyone that donated desserts for this evening. Thank you. And now we're going to move on to our rank advancement. For the, people, for the scouts that earn the scout rank, can we call you up, please come forward. Andrew Baker. I'm going to have you attach your name to the list of ranking scouts. Ryan Clark. He was also presented tonight with his troop t-shirt, Class B, for being a scout. Becoming a scout, sorry. Michael Julis and Nicholas Julis also earned the scouting rank, but they're not here tonight, but we'll acknowledge them anyway. Uh, along with them, Jonathan Weaver and Avery Weaver are not here either. Uh, I'm sorry, Avery Woodbury are not here, but they also earned the scouting rank. Um, one of these guys is going to read on the back of that card that they were given, which talks about their scouting rank. Andrew, you want to do that? Sure. Welcome to scouting. Now that you have earned your Boy Scout badge, you can begin to feel the thrill and enjoy the fun of earning rank advancement and merit badges as a member of, your, of a Boy Scout troop. As you grow, be sure to share your skills and thrills with others. Go. 
presented tonight with his neckerchief of the troop colors for becoming tenderfoot. Dylan all already received this at one of the troop meetings. So now we're going to present him with this. John Keating. his skills onto younger scouts and sign off requirements in the book. So it's a big step for them. And would like to read the back of their card. Eeny, meeny, 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 How about Kevin Foy? Because he looks so enthusiastic. Now that you have become a first class scout, you're ready to learn to be a leader in your troop. You'll have the chance to teach skills and share your skills and merit badge know-how with others. You'll begin working on the first several service projects leading to Eagle. Good luck in leadership and service. And now our newest star scouts are James Johnston. Robinson. 
you completed to earn this award will guide you and others like a star to further advance. As you complete Mara Package for the next step of Life Scout, you'll be a constant source of help to your fellow Scouts. They'll be counting on you for leadership and guidance to show them the way. Before Eagle Scout is Life Scout, a big step when a scout has to start working towards his Eagle rank. And tonight, this rank has been earned by Todd Higgins. skills with others. Ahead of you is rank of Eagle Scout. You are challenged to attain the highest rank in Boy Scouting. And now for the wonderful encouragement speech. Okay, well here we have our rank advancement board. And you notice that goes from Scout to Life. And if you notice, we have quite a long list of Scouts. It's, it's a long list. And we did have very few older Scouts that are working towards Eagle. So we encourage you guys to get going and start working on your ranks to get ahead and never give up. We have some guys here that have been here for quite a while, so we encourage them to go on. Oh yeah, we have six more, so we need to make room. So in order to do that, you have to go over this way. So, that's our encouragement speech. So, keep going. Oh yes, and eventually, hopefully get onto our uh, Troop 56 Eagle Scout plaque. So, that's our future. And now, a presentation of merit badges earned by our Scouts by Josh Weaver. Alright, so first we're going to do citizenship in the community, and can we have Mark Ruda from the center? Stay up, stay up. Next, um, John Van Rinsdal. <laughs> Explain what you did on this man patch. Uh, we had to do some service time and write a, a do a PowerPoint presentation and uh, on Wilmington because it's citizenship in the community. Next Mary Patch is Collections and John uh, Keating got that one.
Mad Batch is coin collecting, and Mark Arruda, Ryan Clark, Evan Copeland, Patrick McCorkle, Dylan McDonald, Jeffrey McDonald, and Adam Mianza got this one. Personal management. And what did you have to do? I 
right, well, first off, it's an Ego Acquired Merit Badge, and uh, what I had to do was I had to keep a log of my personal income and expenses, thank you, uh, for three months, and I learned that I basically didn't really spend a lot for those three months, and I got a lot of savings in my bank. Yes. No. <laughs> and that was it. Uh, next up is rifle shooting and Martin and Sabujin got this one. several years ago, and the troop has set up an annual um, award in his name. Um, it's basically a campership um, to, go to, to go to scout camp. And um, the troop committee, along with uh, Mrs. Ratchdorf, came up with a list of criteria of the, or the requirements for the award. Uh, basically, it has to be a seasoned scout, somebody, a scout who's, it's not his first year in the troop. Um, he has to have advanced in rank this past year. He must show scout spirit and be active in the troop and his community uh, during the past year. We were presented, the troop committee was presented with a list of names and it was a very hard decision. Um, but I'd like to recognize the 2007 Bob Ratchdorf Award winner, Tommy Barry. Church, <laughs> um, but it will have 
except it's a much smaller plaque than the Eagle Board, but um, if you'd like to see it, it's right near the ramp in the main room where we meet, and uh, Tommy's name will be engraved on that as well. So, congratulations. presentation I have. Um, a couple months ago, the tr committee, um, somebody brought the idea, I don't remember exactly who brought it up, but um, we decided to create a troop scholarship. Um, and this year, since it's our first year, we decided to just start small and see where it took us. And we set up the ability for um, two, as many who wanted to apply, but we set up for two scholarships to be awarded. Um, to a graduating senior. Uh, it can be anybody who's a member of the troop. It doesn't have to be somebody who went to Wilmington High. It can be private school, the tech, you know, whatever. Um, but it's somebody who has to be active in the troop and shows a very uh, lot amount of scout spirit. Um, we have two winners this year. Uh, I'd like to ask them to both come up. Um, both of these individuals are outstanding members of the troop. They've been dedicated uh, for a very long time. <clears throat> one of them uh, just finished his Eagle rank, and the other one is very close. Uh, so I'd like both of them to come up, Mike Golden and Kevin Martin. We don't have a plaque yet for that, but I'm sure it's on the way. I'm attending the University of Rhode Island and intending to major in biomedical engineering. I'll be attending Cornell University College of Engineering. We hope to make it an annual uh, occurrence for seniors to apply for that. So, thank you. Also, if you notice, the troop has uh, made a new neckerchief to celebrate our 75th anniversary. So we have the, uh, uh, new addition to our troop. And if uh, any scout or committee member adult did not get one, please see us after the meeting. Cool. All right, now. I guess we still have another award. Yay. Thank you, sir. All right, our troop, uh, from time to time, we hold patrol competitions. This whole past year, we had, it started off last summer at summer camp. We had patrol competitions that each patrol competes against each other. Uh, we had them throughout the year on camping trips. We had uh, patrol competitions, which patrol sold the most wreaths. We had uh, scout spirit, uniform wearing, the right uniform, and things like that. And uh, we totaled all the competitions of the year, and we came up with the winning patrol. We promised the patrols at the beginning of the year, whoever won would get a prize. And we actually came through this year and got some prizes. So the winning patrol was the Wildcats. So if I can have Marty Sabujan, Nathan Harvey, Nick Monaforti, Pat Dunn, Nick Farnsworth, Chris Vendell, Brandon Gostonian, James Johnston, John Keating, William McKinnon, Mike Sharon, and Peter Warren come forward. Leaders in the 
patrol got a Big Mac flashlight to help show the way. Oh. <laughs> but guys, these uh, the competitions are gonna start right off again this year at summer camp. We're gonna start off with our competitions for next year. And the Wildcats won not because they had the best scouts and they had the best scout skills. They won because they learned to work together and help each other. So that's what we're looking for. If your patrol wins or loses, it doesn't mean you're a good scout or a bad scout, but when you learn to work together, you can get a lot accomplished, all right? So everybody, try to work together as a team, work as one, and you guys will do great. Thank you. And now, moving on briefly to our calendar and announcements. Bye, Josh Weaver. On June fourteenth, we will well there is going to be a flag retirement ceremony. It will be held at uh, at the Harden Tavern and um, behind the Harden Tavern and if you have any flags to retire, um, bring them up and they will be retired. Thanks. On June fifteenth is Kevin Martin's Eagle Project Part Two. So if you're not doing anything that day, then please go and help them out. June 19th is the Lowell Spinners game. Um, then for the 4th of July, 256 is doing their fundraising booth at the Common. And then June 22nd to 27th is summer camp at Wataka. Kevin Martin has some words of wisdom on his Eagle Scout project. So this Friday is phase two of my project. Phase one was last Friday and it went great. Uh, wood came late, that's okay. We're, we're building shelves for the Lowell Wish Project in Lowell. They collect food, clothes, and items like that for the needy. And they need a bunch of shelves and that's what we're doing. So this Friday, starting at 3 or 3.30, if you come around then, at my house, 10 Franklin Ave. We're going to be finishing up the shelves. We'll add we'll some, so, some supports to them. And then around 5, we're going to leave for the, lo for the warehouse in Lowell to install the shelves. So if, if you can come at 3, great. If, if you can come at 5, great too. Or if you can come for the whole thing, that's awesome. Uh, we have all the tools. There's not much work left to be done. Just manual labor at the warehouse. So I'll send out an email tonight. So check your email tonight. All the details will be there. 10 Franklin Ave, Friday. Thanks for coming. And if you have any uh, questions or if you're interested in helping Kevin, make sure you talk to him as well. I believe Mr. Copeland and Mr. Monteforti have an announcement. We've already picked our new patrols for next year. We have eight patrols, and tonight we're going to give out the patrol leader patches. But before we do that, um, Nick has filled in, took over for uh, the senior patrol leader for the troop when our senior patrol leader could no longer fulfill his position this year. So Nick just ended the year for us, helped us out. And so Josh Weaver will actually be our senior patrol leader starting at summer camp. So um, here's Josh's senior patrol leader patch. And we had troop elections uh, a couple weeks ago for the assistant senior patrol leader. And for those who don't know one, that next year it will be Marty Sabujan taking over in that position. and we had a pretty uh, heavy influx of new scouts this year so for next year we're going to have eight patrols to try to make the patrols a little smaller and make the management uh, of each patrol for the patrol leader a little bit easier. Um, when we go on campouts we'll probably be combining patrols for patrol competitions 
but uh, we're going to have eight patrols next year, and hopefully that's going to streamline the communication. So uh, for the Coyote Patrol, uh, your patrol leader uh, for next year is going to be Evan Copeland. place at summer camp so we'd like to make sure that uh, all the new patrol leaders have their patches um, on their class A uniforms on the left shoulder uh, on the, on their uh, left shoulder for summer camp so a little sewing or they do have sticky stuff to do it but uh, we'd like to make sure that they all have it on that and you never know it might show up as part of the competition so the next patrol for the Hawk Patrol uh, the patrol leader is going to be Jeffrey McDonald Gorilla Patrol, James Johnston. So, so before we give the patch to uh, James, we'd like to have him give out the uh, troop yell of uh, the patrol. Patrol yell for the patrol. We'll bring him on up if you need to do that. Guys, if you're my patrol, come up here. Oh, <laughs> 